Hi, welcome to the how to replace your UPS battery video for Boido's Tech Talk. If you've been following the blog, uh, you would have uh, read that my UPS uh, had had its batteries go to heaven recently. So uh, it's not been too handy when I've had uh, any absence of power in the household here or uh, when we've had sags in the power because the battery hasn't been able to boost the power back up. Uh, the model that I have is the Eaton PowerWare 5110. Uh, this is the uh, 1500 volt amp version, so it's the highest capacity of that particular model. And uh, I do have uh, two batteries uh, to replace uh, in the unit today. Um, what I'll do is I'll get straight into uh, how to do it. Now, It'll be a little bit of trial and error on my part because I've uh, not had to replace um, the batteries in the UPS before, but I'm guessing it's fairly straightforward. So, in this particular unit, the batteries are um, accessed through this front door here. And what I might do is just show you what it looks like on the front. Oh, it's rather heavy. So, that's the door there, and that's just the front panel with the power button there. Oh. I've just got a towel on the, on the table here so I'm not going to scratch or dent um, the t table because that would be rather bad. So I'll just unscrew that front panel. and they should just slide off with a little effort right. probably didn't need to do it like that but there we go so now on the front we have that now if I can get something just to prop that up hopefully something that won't Buckle on the way. This might do. There we go. So we'll just disconnect this. There we go. And that'll let us um, be able to get access to the batteries here. So question now is how do we get those batteries out? It's a very good question. So what you do is you pull on this plastic tab on the bottom and you'll be able to pull out the batteries like so. Now you'll see in there there's uh, just a cavity now so I will put that to one side now you do need to have a little bit of strength when you're dealing with these batteries because uh, for obvious reasons they weigh a little bit so here's, here's the battery and basically there, well it's two batteries here and the ones that I've got are the 12 volt 9 amp hour version um, and these are recyclable so I do encourage you to uh, when you do end up with dead batteries uh, take them down to Battery World or another battery store uh, that accepts batteries for recycling so uh, I guess now I need to um, undo this sticky wrapping business Now, I, I'm not terribly sure if I'm going to be able to reuse this um, sticky stuff. Um, it'd be nice if I could, but I'm not fancying my chances at the moment. But we'll see how we go. But 
but um, it would need to come off anyway because I need to get at the wiring. Okay. Okay, so that's now off. And um, it does have a bit of stickiness left on it, but I'll just put that to the side. And hopefully somewhere where I won't get it stuck, so I'll just hang it over the back of a chair, or maybe over here. There we go, that'll, that'll do it nicely, so long as it doesn't fall on the ground and get all... Um, encrusted with hair. Now, that would be on the carpet which would be most unfortunate. Now, in here we we'll seem to have two foam blocks with sticky adhesive on them, so if I just pry those apart gently, like so. Now, so we can see here the batteries are connected in, um, now if you remember back to physics, if you took physics or just science, these are in series. So your positive to negative uh, terminal, or negative to positive as the case may be, because you have power flowing um, in that direction through the batteries. So we need to undo those. So what I'll do is I'll get my new batteries set up in a similar fashion. just so I can get them set up the same way. So I'll unplug this top one here and this bottom one here. And now these are just a little bit snug. So I'll reconnect these like that. Now these might just be a little bit tricky because they've been put on quite snugly. Just need a little bit of patience. But of course you do want good contact because without good contact um, you're not going to get a good flow of or an un you're going to get an unreliable flow of energy through the wiring. Now, I'm going to see if I can pry off these. Sticky blocks. So I've got most of that, so I'll pop that there. That's fine, so that's got most of its adhesive there. And I'll try and get the adhesive off this one. Now, ideally, yeah, there would have been some sort of mounting solution in here rather than using adhesive and you know foam and all that sort of thing. Um, I guess it is what it is. So you need to make do with what you've got, and um, 
I'm not about to use um, consumer grade sticky tape and whatnot to try and get it to work. So that's that's what I've got here at the moment. So I've transferred the adhesive. So to recreate what I had um, before I took it all apart, I'm going to flip this. Right, so that's probably going to be it. Not the most steady structure by itself, but we'll make do with that. And uh, now I've got to work out how to put this back on. So there was a little hole here. So I'll thread that back through. Now I've just got to remember which way it went. So I think it went like this. So you just need to do these things in reverse from how you deconstructed it to get it back to the original state. So if I stick that on there. It's not wanting to be particularly helpful. It's alright if I back around here so that's probably better so that not lines up now so that's what I'm after now what I might do is just see if I've got some additional sticky tape to try and keep it together okay so through the magic of online video I have duct tape well not duct tape but packing tape so I'm sure this will be strong enough to hold together uh, the original assembly here I'll just get that there so I'll just go around so I'll just finish this off and speed up the video for you so you're not left just watching me taping up the batteries okay so I've finished taping it up and maybe I've gone a little bit overboard um, but I've gone for um, strength and stability rather than any sort of um, physical presentation there but having said that um, I should probably shouldn't be employed or asked to uh, wrap birthday and Christmas presents with um, my presentation there but anywho we're not going to be seeing these batteries as they're going to be disappearing back inside the UPS so let me just bring that back up on the table now the UPS even without the battery still has a bit of heft to it so um, just be a bit careful there don't throw your back out so just push this back alright so got the cavity, empty cavity back there just tuck that wire out the way or if you have a helper which I don't at the moment um, <clears throat> they can hold it out of the way for you so we just need to orientate things back the same way <clears throat> So there might be a little bit bit of resistance trying to get it back in because um, I now have tape all over the unit and then you just re-plug in this here, make sure you got red to red, black to black. Um, then you just put it back there, put this cover back on.
and then we will put the screws back in. Like this. And that's it. So we now have uh, replaced the batteries in this UPS and uh, it should be now ready for normal operation. Um, now generally once you do replace batteries it's recommended that you uh, charge them up uh, before they get a workout. Um, obviously if you've had to power down everything and that sort of thing you'd uh, probably want to get back into service. So you, you should probably be safe um, just putting it back into normal operation um, just don't tax it too heavily and you know it's also a bit hard to predict if the electricity is not going to um, behave or not but be that as it may I'm just going to put this back into normal operation let it charge up uh, whilst it's in use and um, that should be the end of it so if you found this uh, video handy make sure you give it a thumbs up if you've got any questions about what I've done, um, how to get replacement batteries, um, what sort of uh, UPS you'd be after, etc. By the way, this is a line interactive UPS, not a standby UPS. Um, yep, just leave a comment down the bottom. But as always, thanks for watching.